hi guys welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are already a subscriber today i have for you guys a what's for dinner i made alfredo pasta bake along with some rice pudding also known as arroz con leche i also made some shrimp tacos and salmon with white rice and if you are new here my name is melissa and i am a mother of four and i do all types of motherhood videos consider subscribing So on this night, it was Monday night and I decided to make an avocado ranch salad that I picked up from Costco last week along with some hot dogs. I'm just going to get these beef franks and I'm just going to boil them in a pot of hot water. I usually like to grill these on our grill outside but it was like 113 outside so there was no way. So I just put all the salad into this bowl and it comes with everything that you need. It is delicious and I picked this up again at Costco. If you have a Costco near your home, I definitely recommend this salad. It is super delicious and packed with flavor. So here is our plate. This is just a simple hot dog with some ketchup, mustard, and mayo, and a side salad. So this next night, I am just making some salmon with some white rice. And you guys have seen me here on my channel make white rice many, many times. And I just get some white rice and I rinse it off and I add some cold water and I bring it up to a simmer. And once it simmers, I just leave it on low for 20 minutes max. So next I am just getting my salmon now and I am cutting it into fours. And I'm going to season my salmon with some lemon pepper, some plain pepper and some sea salt. And I'm also going to make sure that I flip my salmon around and also season the other side of my salmon. And here is my salmon all nice and seasoned up and ready for my skillet. So next I'm going to wash up a lemon really good because I'm going to use the zest of that lemon. And next I'm going to get a skillet and add about 3 tablespoons of butter and I'm going to just let that melt. And once it comes to a melt I'm going to add my seasoned salmon onto this skillet. While my salmon is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the zest from two lemons and I'm also going to get the juice from those two lemons. I thought that I needed two because the salmon was pretty big. If it was half of that size, I would probably just use one lemon. So here is the lemon zest that I got out. It was about a tablespoon and a half. And here is my lemon juice. It was for sure a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. So now I'm just going to go ahead and flip over my salmon. I believe I left it on each side for about five to seven minutes. So now that my salmon is pretty much cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add my lemon zest and my freshly squeezed lemon juice. And I'm just going to add the juice on top of the salmon so that it makes this delicious glaze. The salmon is so good. I try to make this at least once a week and it's always a hit in our home. And I combine this with some rice and avocado, but our avocado wasn't quite ripe yet. <laughs> so this next night I am making shrimp tacos. I have about two pounds of large shrimp. I'm going to use some lemon pepper to season and some Tony's Creole seasoning. And I'm just gonna add that to my shrimp. And now I'm going to get a skillet or a pan and I'm going to bring it up to a medium heat and add about one tablespoon of butter along with my seasoned shrimp and mix it around so that it's pretty much flat on the skillet so that each side cooks evenly. So 
So next I'm going to get this Mexican street corn out of my freezer and this is great. I picked this up at Costco if you saw my Costco haul from last week and it's great because it makes four sides so it's four different meal sides that you have here and it comes with the cheese and the sauce so it is great. So now I'm going to add that freshly squeezed lemon juice and I like to use this um, colander just so that the seeds don't go inside my salmon. Here I am just sprinkling the cotija cheese that it came with on top of that corn. So now I'm going to get my secret family homemade sauce. No, just kidding. I'm going to get this headless sauce. It is guacamole sauce. And I'm just going to put it in this beautiful container and pretend like I made it and call it a day. So here is uh, my plate. It was just some shrimp tacos with some cucumber and some corn. So next, I'm going to make some arroz con leche, also known as rice pudding. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and wash my rice. You don't have to wash your rice, but this is just how I was taught to make rice, so I just do that. So I add about one cup of rice and two cups of water and then I just bring it down to a simmer and once it's almost dried up, I add a can of evaporated milk and half of a can of condensed milk and I'm going to add about two to three cups of 2% milk and I'm going to let this come up to a simmer and give it a mix. And I'm gonna let this simmer on low for about 20 minutes and after 20 minutes our arroz con leche is all done. So on this next night, I decided to make like an Alfredo sausage bake and I'm going to go ahead and get these cooked sausages and then just slice them in half by magic as you just saw. And I'm going to get a skillet and add some butter on the bottom and add a box of cooked penne pasta on top. And because the pasta is still warm, it's gonna go ahead and melt the butter. I'm going to add a couple dashes of black pepper a little bit of garlic sea salt and I like this stuff because it has some garlic flavor and it also has salt. I'm also going to add a little bit of onion powder and give that a good mix. Next I'm going to add my cooked sausage on top and then just give it a light mix again. And now I'm just going to use this Rao's Alfredo sauce and I'm gonna use this whole jar. And I like to add a little bit of milk inside that jar just so I get all the flavors that are in there and I just give it a shake and add that right into my Alfredo bake. Give it another light mix. And I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese just a little bit to give it some more flavor. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix it all up just to make sure that all the flavors are incorporated. And I'm going to add a little bit more milk because it did look a little bit dry, just a tiny bit, not too much. And my pasta was cooked al dente, so I didn't cook it for the full 11 minutes. I cooked it for about nine to 10. And now I'm going to get some chunks of mozzarella cheese and I'm going to place that on top and this is going to be ooey gooey delicious once that mozzarella cheese melts. I'm going to cover up this dish and place this in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And once that's done, I am going to take it out and it is all done and it was delicious and I combined this with a Caesar salad and I used the Olive Garden dressing because it is our favorite. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week.